Hey, thanks, Joshua. Let's talk about the weather a little bit now. Chief Meteorologist Katherine Thompson here. We've been pretty nice, at least for the past few hours. The rain really started to wind down this afternoon, especially once we got well past lunchtime as drier air has started to come in behind this departing frontal system. We were still seasonable today. Most of us ended up in the 70s and the 80s. Excuse me, we're still pretty warm and muggy out at this hour. But again, drier air, cooler air too. We'll be working in overnight. And as we wrap up the work week, a little bit of a refreshing change on the way for Friday. It won't be again quite as humid. It's gonna be a little bit more comfortable outside. For the rest of tonight though, we could still see a stray shower or a thunderstorm. We have just enough energy for that, but nothing widespread. It's going to be very isolated from here on out. And again, you can see some breaks of sun out there on our Princeton camera now. If we look at our satellite and radar, again, most of our area is rain free at the moment. But we have seen a few isolated showers trying to redevelop across our western facing slopes. And that's typically what happens. You get a front coming in and out. And before all the moisture can completely exit, We've got this northwesterly wind that starts to carry any lingering moisture up our mountains, and that's going to be enough to squeeze out just a few more showers through the evening. But once we get past midnight, I'm thinking it's going to be too dry. We're not going to have enough moisture for anything left, really. And the good news is, too, nothing severe to worry about. Really, I doubt we'll see much of a chance of a thunderstorm now since that energy is going down. A better chance of storms in general and severe weather off to our east tonight. Now, the National Weather Service still has us in a risk of excessive rainfall, not going to rule out a localized heavier downpour, but generally that risk has really gone down too, and it will continue to fall uh, overnight tonight. So nothing severe, nothing in the way of flooding to worry about as we wrap up the work week. And again, it's going to get breezy overnight and into tomorrow at times, but this wind is going to be coming out of the north and west. High pressure coming in, drying us out. Again, this is cooler and drier air. And we're really going to be feeling that by the time we wake up tomorrow morning, it'll feel a lot different. It's going to feel pretty nice. Let's take a look at future cast again. Just a few more showers overnight, maybe a rumble of thunder, but generally drying out. Lows hit the 50s for most tonight, if not the low 60s waking up uh, tomorrow morning. And then tomorrow afternoon, we hit the 70s, if not the upper 60s. So very comfortable right around that 70 degree mark, actually a few degrees below average for the high tomorrow and again very dry. Now Saturday the humidity starts to go up but generally we still look pretty quiet. The chance of rain is still low on Saturday. Not going to rule out a stray shower or a storm but a better chance of rain will come Sunday. So the whole weekend's not looking completely dry. By Sunday we could see some showers, a few thunderstorms and the next week gradually turning warmer again, muggy again, more unsettled. We're steamy by next weekend, that's for sure. Hey, stick with us. We're back with sports right after this break. Josh Widman is in next. At Bluestone Health Association, you could expect competent and courteous care by local people at six locations.